All right, I'm gonna um, correct some hammer angle. And so with hammer angle, you look at the spacing of the hammers and if you see any that have wider at one end and narrower at the other, let's see if we can see this. So this is wider, this is narrower. And then on this one, and I put an arrow to indicate that I'm going to take this and give it a twist this way. The tool that I use is this Weller Pyro Pen. And I got it from a, an electronic supply store. And I don't know if you can see, I've got a nice little flame in there. Um, so now what I'm going to do is give this a twist run this pen up and down on the shank while twisting it so I'm going to heat the wood. The main thing you have to be careful of is don't have the back side of this tool hit your hammer rest felt and you have to keep it moving or you will singe it. I'm going to hold it here for a second, release it, and now I'm parallel here to here. Um, right here we'll do one more while we're at it. This one is wide here, narrow there. I'm going to hold it, twist it, run this up and down, keep it moving. Don't touch the hammer rest rail or you'll smell singy stuff. Let it cool, release. Looks good. This one. And that's my um, approach to hammer angle.